U.S. is concerned about Ukrainian strikes on Russian nuclear radars. The United States is concerned about Ukrainian strikes on Russian nuclear radar stations. According to the Washington Post, the United States fears the strikes could dangerously anger Moscow at a time when the Biden administration is weighing whether to lift restrictions on Ukraine's use of American weapons to strike Russia. The United States is concerned about recent Ukrainian strikes on Russian ballistic missile Early warning sites, the U.S. official said, speaking on condition of anonymity due to the sensitivity of the matter. Washington conveyed to Kiev its concern about two attacks over the past week on the radar station. At least one strike in Armavir caused some damage. These sites were not involved in supporting Russia's war against Ukraine. But they are sensitive locations because Russia may feel its strategic deterrent capabilities are being targeted, which could undermine Russia's ability to maintain a nuclear deterrent against the United States, the official said. However, a Ukrainian official familiar with the matter said Russia used the radar to monitor the activities of the Ukrainian military, particularly Kiev's use of aerial weapons such as drones and missiles. The official, speaking on condition of anonymity, confirmed that the General Intelligence Directorate was responsible for the strikes. Ukraine faces a constant threat to its existence from Russia, which has recently gained ground thanks in part to its sophisticated radar and weapons jamming technologies. This rendered some Western projectile and guided missile launches useless. The capability has also enhanced Moscow's ability to track British and US provided long-range weapons and drones that have caused serious damage to Russia's Black Sea Fleet and military installations in Crimea. The Ukrainian official said the strikes were aimed at reducing Russia's ability to monitor Ukrainian military activity in southern Ukraine. The drone, which targeted a radar station near Orsk, covered more than 1,800 kilometers. This is a record distance to the attacked facility. A Ukrainian official declined to say whether the strike caused damage. U.S. officials have said they are sympathetic to Ukraine's plight as administration officials are actively weighing whether to lift restrictions on the use of U.S.-provided weapons for strikes inside Russia. But if Russia's early warning capabilities were undermined by Ukrainian attacks, even partially, it could harm strategic stability between Washington and Moscow, the U.S. official said. Some analysts have been puzzled by the targets. While Krasnodar is close enough to Ukraine to track missiles and drones, the radar station near Osk is focused on the Middle East and China. Asked why they targeted such a distant target, the Ukrainian official said Russia had switched all capabilities to the war against Ukraine. An F-35 Lightning II aircraft has crashed near Albuquerque International Sunport, New Mexico. According to KOB4, the pilot would be conscious and breathing and has been taken to the hospital. Though the F-35 is flown by the Air Force, Navy and Marine Corps, the F-35B was a development test aircraft owned by Lockheed Martin, a defense official said. An F-35B en route from Fort Worth, Texas, to Edwards Air Force Base, California, crashed after a refueling stop at Kirtland Air Force Base, New Mexico, Lockheed Martin said in a statement. The pilot safely ejected. Safety is our priority, and we will follow appropriate investigation protocol. Two civilians were also assessed at the scene, but did not require transport to a hospital. Jason Feger, a spokesperson for Albuquerque Fire Rescue, said that multiple agencies responded to the crash. The plane went down near the airfield on the south side of the Sunport, the airport reported on social media. According to Feger, the pilot was able to exit the plane and was hospitalized with serious injuries. The pilot was last reported to be in stable condition at the University of New Mexico Hospital, the Kirtland spokesperson said. Aerial footage from KOB-TV showed local firefighters dousing the wreckage. Fire crews were able to extinguish the blaze, Feger said. The F-35B is a short takeoff and vertical landing aircraft that is used by the Marine Corps. Um, it'll be just a few minutes as soon as we get further information uh, we'll pass along, but uh, we might be sitting here for a few minutes now.